The Transport Minister, Fikile Mbalula, has promised to tackle the problems facing train commuters on the Cape Flats. And he was speaking to the SABC at Langa, where he was experiencing firsthand the challenges posed by gangsterism, vandalism and cable theft. Now, for the latest on the story, we cross live to our reporter, Vanessa Puna, who is at the Langa train station. Vanessa, thank you very much indeed for your time. So I just want to get a, this, a sense of the purpose of this train ride. Is it purely just to get first-hand experience of what commuters go through. Lane, good morning to you, and um, it's very strange that you ask whether this is indeed um, just um, a, an attempt of the minister to get an experience. He made it very clear just now uh, that he will not leave you shocked, saying uh, that uh, the issues experienced uh, by commuters, uh, not just here in Cape Town, but across the country, uh, people that are dependent on uh, a rail commuting, uh, indeed he is well aware of those challenges, and therefore he says that he is here to fix uh, the problems and the challenges facing uh, rail commuters now in Cape Town alone, Blaine, over the past four or five years, over 170 train sets have been set alight. We know that the damage has run into over 500 million rand so far. The minister is saying just now uh, that he has come in and he's going to fix it. Firstly, he has announced uh, a war room. He says that this will entail uh, various fears of government as well as very important in his plan to fix the rail system is community involvement. Now, a short while ago, he signed a memorandum handed over to him um, by Satao as well as the United Commuters Voice. And earlier on this morning at the Chris Heine station in Kailicha, Minister Fikile Mbalula also received a memorandum uh, from the Unite Behind Coalition. And they also have been extremely vocal in their quest uh, for uh, the uh, situation on the ground on the rail system actually to be declared a national uh, disaster. Now, Minister Mbalula is saying that this indeed is a crisis and saying uh, that he will, uh, together with um, uh, his uh, police counterpart, uh, Beke Kele, uh, tackle this issue, but not just from a government point of view. Of course, he stressed the importance of community involvement. Yeah. Uh, also, one of the issues highlighted, for example, was vandalism on uh, the train lines. And of course, as we drove past quite a number of communities uh, from Kailicha uh, to Langa this morning, very visible along the rail line, of course, is uh, a number of informal settlements that have sprung up. Yeah. The minister a short while ago saying uh, that this is not allowed, saying that the erection of uh, informal settlements and shacks uh, on, on, on railway lines, property will not be tolerated. So um, at the moment, uh, just behind me, you'll see uh, that there's quite um, a number of people in that corner. That is where Minister Fikile Mbalula, a short while ago, just concluded the media briefing. Yeah. Along with him also uh, representatives from Prasa. Um, and they have also then outlined uh, how uh, Prasa as well as uh, the department will work together. And also the minister made an example saying that there's been instability at uh, Prasa, saying uh, that this instability in the form of... Um, its current uh, uh, acting board, uh, acting CEO, saying that within the next three months there will be stability uh, at uh, the passenger rail uh, service here in South Africa. Vanessa, just take us through the morning's events. I understand from reports that uh, the train that the minister was uh, hopping onto was actually delayed. Can you confirm that? And if that's the case, I guess it underscores what commuters go through on a daily basis. Indeed it has. Um, the train was supposed to have left by 6 o'clock. Um, that did not happen. Um, we, uh, Richard Walker, uh, the uh, Metrorail uh, Western Cape Regional Manager, a short while ago um, uh, mentioned that there was an issue of attempted cable theft. And of course that would have pushed back the entire train um, services this morning. And also at Philippi Station uh, there was a train accident uh, in, uh, allegedly involving a child, which of course meant that we had to disembark at Philippi Station, get into a number of uh, uh, minibus shuttles um, which of course then brought us here to, to Langa station. Now some of the communities that we've been, or community members we've been speaking to this morning mm. say that this is nothing new. Yeah. Uh, some women in the train this morning telling us that they often leave the house at 4 o'clock in the morning and um, get to work um, a, a, an hour or two late appealing then to government, appealing to the minister and appealing to all the authorities to also make sure that the trains are safe. They're calling for improved policing on trains 
the seats, for example, that I was sitting on this morning in the one train, uh, the seats were completely broken. Mm. Every single window in the train that we were traveling in this morning uh, was broken, and it was quite a chilly morning yes. out in Cape Town. And of course, that highlighted the issues facing commuters here yeah. in Cape Town. Look, the minister is known for his tough talk. He speaks about war rooms. Has he broken it down in terms of what this will actually mean? Look, and I think the minister has also uh, received quite a number of questions from members of the media saying that we have been here before. Uh, we've uh, seen high-ranking officials and ministers getting onto trains, essentially media asking whether this is indeed just another gimmick. Uh, the minister saying no, it's not a gimmick, saying he's not shocked by the state of affairs, saying that the war room, uh, which will be uh, attended to on a weekly basis, all role players coming together saying that this war room will then identify specific issues in specific locations uh, and then uh, happen to deal with them. But it did say that within the next three months, stability will be brought uh, to the rail operator and yeah. also saying to us that he will be speaking to um, uh, General Abeke Kteli, his police counterpart, and also highlighting then uh, Minister Fikilim Balula saying that it is uh, in the constitution that the railway police or railway policing falls under the scope of yeah. the Ministry of Police uh, in South Africa. So the minister giving us a bit of a time frame there in the next three months. Uh, from what you've heard and from what you've spoken uh, you know, to, to commuters, uh, are they convinced? It's, it's very tough to say at this stage where the commuters are convinced, but I do know that they are desperate. Mm. And that is indeed the sense that I got blamed when I spoke to quite a number of them this morning. Um, at this point, we know that there are two new blue trains that, have, uh, that will come to the Western Cape. Of course, uh, we heard from Prasa that uh, the testing, the safety testing of those new trains uh, are being carried out at the moment, saying that um, all 22, if I'm not mistaken, of them should be operational by uh, August next year. Yep. So yes, uh, commuters are hopeful um, at this stage because their situation is very dire. It's dark in the morning in Cape Town. It's yep. winter at, the, at present. Um, they're saying that they are not safe. Some of them don't even know whether they'll reach their destination, let alone re uh, reach their destination late. Yeah, Vanessa Puna, thank you very much indeed for your great reporting. Vanessa Puna is coming to us live from Langa in the Western Cape. Meanwhile, Vanessa earlier spoke to Minister Mbalula on his plan to tackle problems.